Hello, today I'm going to present a recipe for a tuna spread or a tuna dip, which is quick and easy to make and which I usually serve as an appetizer or as a starter. So you'll need about 8 ounces of saint moray or plain rondella or cream cheese, 2 cans of tuna, a nice bunch of coriander or cilantro, and half an onion. La moitié, une petite moitié de la moitié de Il en faut euh, très peu. Si vous avez besoin, si vous êtes. Euh, et là, c'est une recette. Et c'est une recette pour environ 6 personnes. Vous pouvez les doubler. Donc voilà. Je vais commencer par la coriandre. So je vais commencer par que vous avez euh, which is already et rinsed and dried. Alors, si vous voulez, si vous avez le courage, vous now if you have the patience you can pull it off moi, leaf by leaf but I'm lazy so I'm going to break off the leafy ça, half ça, on en a pas besoin. we don't need the stems et avec une paire de ciseaux, and with a pair of scissors mieux, si vous avez un petit or a food processor if you've got one mais sinon, vous faites we'll mince the cilantro or the coriander whichever you're using. Hacher à ces menus ces feuilles de coriandre which we'll eventually mix with our other ingredients. So if you have a food processor, put in the coriander or cilantro and the onion. But with scissors, that works just as well. Or on a cutting board. La coriandre comme ça dans un plat. But it's much easier in a bowl with a pair of scissors. Voilà, je continue. Que ce soit haché le plus fin possible. Voilà pour la coriandre. Ensuite, je prends Next, I'll take the onion, and we really only need a little for flavor since it's raw. So this is all I need. Now, if you double the recipe, you'll probably use the whole onion. Now we're going to dice it as finely as possible. Very fine. Now with a food processor, it's of course much faster. Là, on a mis now, so we have the coriander and the onion. Ensuite, vous mettez, Next, we'll uh, add the tuna. Le thon. Donc, and I've already drained the cans. La deuxième boîte. The second can. En même temps, and next, the Saint-Mauré cheese. So cream cheese can work as well. And now we'll mix all this together. Now you can put this on little toasts. Now, notice that I used fresh coriander, which is better as it has much more flavor. Dried coriander works as well, but is less flavorful. Mais bon, à défaut, la coriandre en sachet, ça marche aussi. Hein. Voilà, so, à mélanger, I've started crushing euh, everything. Le thon, la coriandre. Ensuite, Next, GPC, I juiced euh, about one and a half lemons, lemons which we'll add to our mix. Je vais dessus. And a little Un pepper. Sel, Now, I don't add salt le... because the tuna and the saint is already salted. Sel. 
Now, and if you have Tabasco, put in five or six drops, or dried cayenne. Now, you're not, it's not obligatory to, to put in uh, pepper or cayenne. And now we'll continue crushing. Now, this dip can be kept for up to four days in the refrigerator. Now crush well the tuna and the saint marie It spreads easier. Now we'll put the mixture in the fridge to chill. But for now, I'm going to show you one way to serve it. Now you can use any kind of bread or crackers that you want. I'm going to use this bread. And I'm going to make small toasts. Like little crackers. So I'm cutting up the little crackers. So now we have these little pieces of bread that we'll put in the oven. And we'll toast them in the oven for about 10-15 minutes. So here I've prepared a few in advance to show you. So little toasts. You can serve them as hors d'oeuvres or as little starters. And we'll put a little of our tuna spread on the toast. And voila, as you can see, it's a really easy recipe. Voila.